welcome back to my channel my name is poppy makhili for those who are new to the channel and i'd like to welcome you to my maintenance vlog these are the things that i do every month or every second week depending on how i feel to make myself look good and therefore feel good i'll be taking you guys with me this month i'll be doing my nails i'll be doing my pedicure i'll be doing my eyebrows as well as my hair i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and comment and if you're new to the channel please subscribe i'm on my way to go do my nails my nails are not that bad i like did it i did them two weeks ago um but it's end of the month and I just want to do them because I know if I don't do them then mid month I'll just be annoyed by this kind of style and I would just end up spending more money. 900 meters. Last month I tried a new place because um, my current place moved from like being down the road to actually like in Plata Curve, which is quite a drive. Um, so I thought I could cheat and like basically go for another place try out a new place I did not enjoy it and because of that I went back to my person it was basically like that meme from YouTube you know that meme where the, the girls come in and they're like hey That's me coming back to my nail tech. Never cheat on your nail tech, guys. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's embarrassing to like go to someone else and figure out that the person that you had already is more than enough. And now you're going to them with like the nails that you did at the previous place. <laughs> Yo, I'm a little bit tired from work. Um, but you know what it needs to be done if physically I don't look great internally I don't feel great but it it like works interchangeably like firstly I'd not feel great internally then I'd start to show externally and it will make me feel worse internally like yeah so it's very important that even if I feel like, you know, like going to do my nails is so much effort. I need to like wake up and shower and, you know, just show up. Um, sometimes have to converse with my nail tech. Not all the time. Like sometimes she understands that I have to, like I'm going to be quiet and I appreciate that about her. But if I tell myself that it's too much work and I don't do it, I end up feeling worse about myself than if I actually gathered the strength to go do it, you know. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to just keep this for myself, you know, just maintain this. Go 
it's not a good state Gotta, gotta go our own way Cause I do what I do And it's time for something new, yeah I Gotta know when I let go Gotta know when I let go Gotta know when I let go Sometimes healing up can make you grow Can make you grow Can make you grow Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I don't appreciate the change So I'm on my way to go do my eyebrows. I'm not making that mistake of going to a different eyebrow lady. I'm going to the same one that I did in my uh, birthday vlog prep. Um, so it's been how many months? Is it? I think it's a month now. Yeah, there's a month, and you can see a bit of uh, hair growth around here, but the shape is still nicely maintained, and I'm just going to clean up. Do a little bit of shopping and then later on i'm gonna go do my hair so that's what i have planned for today so let's get to it i need my jacket don't judge my cupboard i didn't show you guys my precious cargo be careful with my heart oh Say I'm not sensitive, but I can sense if it's right for me Don't let your head get in the way Can't be defined by your mistakes You know you're trying, you try really hard But sometimes you fall Yeah, sometimes you fall I'm wearing such a thick jacket because it was cold and cloudy in the morning now it's like bright and sunny and hot and I am dying I am dying <sighs> anyways no, I need to take this off I'm sorry Just someone behind me all right yo I was dying in the jacket so I did my eyebrows then did a bit of shopping and had like a, a, a brunch um, I'm quite happy with my eyebrows and the way she, that she did them I'm actually today I'm very very impressed like the level just keeps getting better and better with her and then yeah now I'm on my way to go do my hair I do my hair at Asana Beauty which is a natural hair hair salon um, the I'm so happy I found it I found it via a friend um, because they they deal with natural hair um, so under my wig I have natural hair in like Conros and it's always so much better to go to a place that understands natural hair 
uh, to do your hair rather than going to like any hair salon because when you go to a hair salon where someone doesn't know how to do what like how to manage natural hair there's a lot of aggression that you get from the hairstylist like they would be very aggressive with your hair and like combative like you would say it's painful and they would be like no it's painful because you don't want to relax your hair that's why it's painful it's painful because you don't comb your hair it's painful xyz they'll give you all the excuses and the main reason why they are so combative is because they are inexperienced in natural hair they don't know how to you know um, manage natural hair and that's why they are overwhelmed by the whole experience but instead of saying oh CC, I don't really know what to do with your hair they will blame it on you and your hair so I just yeah no I avoid going to any other hair salon other than the um, Asana because yeah it's just it's more of a, a joyful ex pleasant experience for me going to someone who knows how to deal with natural hair also um, now that I'm going to Asana I'm a little bit more what is it like I'm a little bit more what's the word it's hot I'm a little bit more the word it's not regular it's not routine I'm a little bit more consistent with my hair so I wash my hair more regularly my hair is in a protective style that's like is very gentle on my hair um, yeah no I'm actually quite I'm enjoying just having my natural hair and just putting a wig on um, rather than most of the time I just put braids on it because I'm just overwhelmed by my natural hair but because I have someone who can help me with my hair I find that I have my hair out a little bit more than I would normally do which is good I haven't decided whether I want to relax my hair or not currently I don't think I want to relax my natural hair because I, I never had a good experience with relaxed hair my hair was always so flat and so lifeless um, and having it natural has actually given it more life and volume um, so for now I'm not relaxing my hair um, yeah I'm not relaxing my hair and I, I cut the split ends a few months ago and it's been growing so nicely like I said, finding someone who knows what to do with my hair has really like helped and it has alleviated like the stresses that I would have with my natural hair. But let me tell you something. <laughs> this wig that I have on right now. Oh, it's not too old. This wig that I have on right now is glued on. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let me show you guys my eyebrows. Oh my god! Can you see them? <gasps> How nice. It's glued on. <laughs> it's still glued on. The way. <laughs> <laughs> Explore all the things we were created for. Possibilities and open door that keeps us reaching out. Drown out the rain, but will it make sense? 
Thank you.